doing nothing is the worst of all possibilities. Even a partial effort will preserve a few things, and the more we do, the better it could be. I've been involved in the family business here since nine, ten years old. When my grandfather started the place in the 20s and 30s, he started out as a fishing station with rowboats. People that would come all the way out from Brooklyn and Queens and rent a rowboat. These weren't people riding around looking at the scenery. They were all out there to get a bushel of crabs or something like that and bring it back to their friends and relatives. I never thought to ask any of them why they came from so far to rent a rowboat here. I just assumed, well, this was a hot spot. There's certainly a lot of other places on the South Shore that are very good, but I guess places further west were already starting to suffer from some of the things we suffer from now. Years ago, we used to joke that you could walk across Great South Bay on the clam boats that weren't just there clamming, but they were catching clams. If you went from Nickel Point to over toward Ocean Beach and all those shoal waters there, you'd see literally a couple hundred boats and you'd see lots of people just wading around with baskets. These waters are still open, but the clamors aren't there because the clams aren't there. You have an old picture of Grand Canal looking down from my back steps and you can't look at it without you know, getting sort of that warm, fuzzy feeling. It just looks like a great place to take a boat and go exploring. Marsh is adjacent to Grand Canal where very green and lush Spartina fields. Before the fishing season started, I spent my time more often than not walking through the marshes looking for reptiles and amphibians, different species of turtles, different species of frogs and snakes, and they were quite abundant. When my kids grew up, which would be in the 90s, I took them through some of the same places and I noticed I don't move through the marsh as well as I used to. They had a good time, but we saw none of that. None, not a frog, not a turtle, not a snake. And at first I thought maybe I was trying to impose my values on theirs, but then on one fortunate trip with my son, who was quite young at the time, we came on a modest sized snapping turtle, wrestled with him for a while and got him in the boat before we threw him back overboard and let him go. He still remembers that with tremendous enthusiasm. You say, how much better that would have been if he could have seen some of the other things I'd seen where you saw spotted turtles, maybe catch a dozen in one day, or catch different kinds of snakes. What kind of snake is that? Which one got away and it was a milk snake or it was a banded water snake? He just can't do it. Can't be done. It's something lost. For us on this side of the bay, we're the ones that really have to react to reduce the amount of nitrogen that we dump into the bays and to provide whatever cleaning capabilities Spartina and other marine plants can provide. I'm sure if water quality in the area was better, the business would be better and the community as a whole would be better. My name is George Remmer. My life revolves around the bay. <laughs>